Our travels today took us through Kanab, a small town in southern Utah, just a few miles north of the Arizona border. Kanab was founded in 1870 by a group of 10 families led by Levi Stewart, to whom a monument has been erected on the location of the original Fort Kanab. Over the past few decades, I must have traveled through Kanab about a hundred times. It's a frequent stop in my travels, and I have fond feelings for the town. The scenery, particularly the red rock that rims the town, is stunning, and the light can play off the rock and cliffs in delightful ways. Those who go through Kanab these days get the feeling right away that it's a tourist town, meaning that tourism is its primary business. It is also, however, home to the largest no-kill animal shelter in the world. Tourism is king because Kanab is located in close proximity to Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, Vermilion Cliffs National Monument, the North Rim of the Grand Canyon, and Zion National Park. It is easy to make Kanab home base to those visiting any of these natural wonders that are within easy driving distance. Thousands of people like me also make their way through Kanab along US Highway 89, as it is one of the primary routes heading north and south. Kanab also used to have a huge relationship with Hollywood, so much so that it is known in many circles as Little Hollywood. The surrounding land with its stunning red rock, towering cliffs, and great canyons made it a natural for all sorts of movies. How many movies? More than you might imagine. Here are the 126 movies and shows that were filmed in whole or in part between 1924 and 2012 in Kanab or the surrounding areas. If you stop by the visitor center, you can pick up the lengthy list of movies. The relationship between Kanab and Hollywood was helped in large part by the Perry brothers who settled in Kanab and built the Perry Lodge. It has rooms named after various movie stars who have stayed in the different rooms offered at the lodge. When you walk through downtown Kanab, you quickly see a ton of markers, each one celebrating a film star or a prominent person who has visited the area. There are dozens of these for individuals such as Tony Curtis, Dale Robertson, Dale Evans, Dennis Weaver, Maureen O'Hara, and many more. The markers are the local equivalent of Hollywood's Walk of Fame, but they are much more interesting because of the short bios and picture that are provided for each honoree. The one thing the honorees have in common is that they spent time in Kanab as they were filming the various movies and shows in the area. Walking through downtown Kanab doesn't take long. The town has quaint stores gussied up to look western, and you can find restaurants that cater to just about every taste. I was also struck by the artwork that has popped up on several of the local businesses, lending to the enjoyable atmosphere. On this day that I was staying in Kanab, I was traveling from Mesa, Arizona to my home in Wyoming. Kanab is conveniently situated about halfway on the trip, so it is a prime candidate for a night of rest. On this particular day that I stayed in Kanab, the town was preparing for what they call the Balloons and Tunes Roundup. Occurring on the third weekend in February, it provides an opportunity for flyers and musicians to get together and have a little fun. The great climate in Kanab makes such events unnatural, even in February. If you ever find yourself in southern Utah, traveling along US Highway 89, Make sure you plan to spend a little time or a few days in Kanab. You'll enjoy yourself and make some great memories along the way.